Pratik, uh, a huge congratulations on your new big boss OTT adventure. So how are you feeling? I mean, you know, you're no stranger to sort of reality shows. I mean, you've pretty much nailed it on the MTV side of the reality shows. I mean, Love School, uh, Roadies in the Nays of Space. So I guess how much of a familiar territory is it for you? Uh, so see, I'm, uh, Anuj, I'm very excited and I'm feeling very energetic right now. I mean, there's so much of energy in me right now. I can't even contain it. And I'm, I just want to be inside the house as soon as possible. And I just want, I just, I, I just want the production to lock me inside, man. Just lock me inside and put me inside, throw me inside. Let me just get it done with, man. Now, that's wow. what I'm feeling. I'm getting very gladiator vibes from this, by the way. <laughs> like, you know, like, so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I think um, every time again, Big Boss ka jo, uh, seasons aate hai, aapka naam zarur hota hai, like you know, it's always your name is always in the mix, you know, in terms of the rumored contestants coming in. So, what made you agree this time around? Uh, see, I have always wanted to be a part of the show. Even last year, I had signed the contract and everything was done and dusted. But the thing was that uh, I had a work commitment with some other production house for some uh, project which was going on, so I had to complete that before I could come into the show uh, last season. But unfortunately, that did not get over on time for me to enter the show last season. And, you know, fortunate enough, I am getting to meet Salman Khan and Karan Johar both this time. So thank God I did not go last season. And, you know, in, in, in between those kind of contestants, those animals, those fake people. So I'm glad that I'm going right now, uh, you know, and I would, I'm, I'm very happy that I'll be, I'll be meeting uh, Karan Johar and Salman Khan both of them together. Oh, oh sorry, wait. My, my heart just stopped when you said last year, Fabio. I was like, wow, ouch, wow. So you definitely seem to have your, uh, your, your sort of your claws out, I think. To sort of go in. Is see, that honestly, I'll tell you what, Anuj, the thing is that if it's called a reality show, it's called a reality show for a reason. If you come inside and if you start faking things, then it's not reality and people can see it. Being an audience, being a neutral kind of an audience uh, to last season, I would say that there was so much of fake things happening in the house, like so many big, big names. If they've been you know, roped in for such a big show with such a big, you know, uh, uh, like <clears throat> with such a big production value and such a big, uh, this thing, uh, uh, so, so much of effort and time being put into it. And if they start, if they come inside and start acting in a reality show, you can go and act in, a, in an acting show, right? You don't have to mm -hmm. act in a reality show. So just be honest, be real. Yeah. That's what they, that they expect from you, all the production and the audience. So I think that that is why that show, that season was not, I did not, I was not fond of it. I did not even watch it on it. Right. So, I mean, Pratik, just tell me, I mean, it seems like you someone who, who likes to be real and you like people who are honest and all of yeah. that. So right. I, I'm, I'm just assuming, is that the sort of people you're going to gel on well with in the house? Is the people who are real? Maybe. Right? Maybe. There are two kinds of people who are honest. One is uh, honestly. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I think, yeah, maybe I think maybe there's only two kind of people who are honest, like one is honestly, uh, uh, honestly an asshole. So mm -hmm. I'm going to stay away from honestly assholes. Because I, I'm sorry, if I'm not allowed to say that. I honestly no, don't no, no, yeah. say And I'm going to be, you know, I don't, I've not thought about, you know, who I'm going to be close with, honestly. Because uh, sometimes you click with someone like this. And yes. impulsively click ho jata hai, wo, you don't have to think about ki yaar, ki main abhi isse click to ho hon, but main sahi hai nahi hai. you don't think about it. It just happens. So there are some mm -hmm. kind of people like that. And there are some kind of people just ke bhi, tum, just close bhi ke bhi, tum ho ki, yaar, ye kya main sahi kar raho? Is he the right person or is she the right person to be around? So yeah. I'm probably going to be, I'm, because I'm very impulsive and I'm very real. So I'm going to be with, you know, probably I'm going to gel up with the people, kind of people who I click with instantly and who, uh, uh, but I will think about, uh, you know, if they are, if they are being their real self, I will observe their personalities as well. But, uh, you know, uh, being an honest person, I would obviously want to be people who are honest and I don't like people who fake and who lie and all that. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's right. You're right. Right. And I think also um, when it comes to a big boss, I mean, you know, you've, I think you probably know people who have gone into the show before, yeah. right? Have you ever spoken with anyone that's, you know, maybe no, that's... Uh, yeah. You know, uh, Kushal Tendon was my ex, uh, uh, this thing, co-actor in Bebaki and he's a very close, uh, like, friend of mine also. And yeah, he's a great, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a, in his season, he was a very real kind of a personality. He, he stood up for where, when he, you know, he felt he was uh, uh, right. He stood up for it and he stood up for the people who were weak and uh, who were being bullied and all that. So, yeah, I think wo, wo sahi the and he was good. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the only person I think I know uh, from uh, any previous uh, Big Boss season. I, I know Pavitra, obviously, she's been my ex, but I'm so bad. Yeah. So, I've not been in touch with her. So, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna ask that, but I wasn't sure whether I would be allowed. To, so I didn't mention, I didn't mention that. But okay, but that's great. I'm glad. To, it's good to know that you know it, 
that you know you've had that experience and i think you know um prithi i think whenever reality shows in india are concerned or any reality show for that matter you know i think it can really make or break a person exactly because, that's right you know it, you know it's very subjective to how the audience reacts to them has that ever been has there ever been a fear for you prithi about um you know about it potentially going you know the other side and you know where you're not getting accepted where you're not being loved and hated on <laughs> so have you ever yeah, i have been in situations like that where people have you know misjudged me and they they thought that i'm doing something wrong but ultimately when the real story comes out then they realize that okay this guy was right and honestly i'm the kind of person who would be the first one to apologize if i'm wrong if i'm wrong i would be the first person to apologize but if i'm right then you you know what you pray to all your gods that you just be saved by me that's all that's all i'm going to say right now when you began in this career um you know in this whole field of entertainment what was your expectations i mean what did you want to achieve and how successful do you think you've been so far so i think i'm on the i on the right path and i uh, my expectations are uh, i've never had any sort of expectations i've had a goal i've had a visualization an imagination a belief in my head and i think i'm 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 on the way i'm reaching there it's coming to me on its own because i've had such a strong belief that i'm the su- most successful the richest the most famous personality in all of the world so i think i'm getting there i think i'm going to get it. i'm i'm getting there you know because i believe that when you put food uh, on the on the sim on, on the gas stove it takes a little while to cook you cannot just put mm-hmm. food and immediately take it out to eat so it takes i put the food on the stove it's cooking and once it's ready i'm going to eat it yeah true true that that's very true um but i think also uh i mean i've i've not watched mtv by the way so i just want to say, i've never watched it but i've heard a lot about the shows that have gone on and they're very very popular um but how do you deal with conflict in life prateek because obviously confrontations or jhagde to honge hi honge yeah and different sort of opinions to honge hi honge i mean as a human experiment that big boss is um so how prepared are you for confrontations for personal sort of revelations to- to come out how prepared are you for that mentally emotionally i you know honestly i just know that anything anything that people are going to try to put me you know put against me i am all i'm i'm standing right here with my uh, with my firm feet on the ground and firmly tugged on the ground i'm standing right here say whatever you can when i start speaking then you have to keep quiet like that because i know mm. if i'm wrong I, as i said i'm going to apologize if i'm right and if i'm right then you know what trust me it's going to be an apocalypse <laughs> right that is true i mean is there i mean i know you mentioned about the people that you got on with i mean what sort of people are you dreading to face um in the house like what, what sort of personalities really really you know what to be honest i'm not i'm not thinking about the kind of people i'm going to face because i just know that i am uh, i'm honest and i'm real and that's what matters to me anyone who comes my way anything that comes my way i'm not thinking about it the tasks the contestants they don't matter to me they don't matter to me because it's okay man i I face assholes every day in my life, and it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. If they're going, if they're going to be assholes, if they're going to be good people, they're going to see. It's about karma. Whatever you give me, I'm going to give back. If you give me good, I'm going to give you good. If you give me shit, I'm going to give you ten times more shit like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. And I think because obviously, like you said, um, you know, uh, about Big Boss. I mean, I'm presume you've watched. the few you know previous seasons as well of this yeah, show yeah. so has I, it ever been i mean obviously aside from kushal has there been anyone that you've genuinely been impressed by and someone you look up yeah, to yeah yeah so there there have been so many contestants like manveer gujjar like gautam gulati and like shilpa shinde and uh, you know a couple more uh, i don't really remember the names of right now but they these people they they fought their battles on their own alone and they've been they've been alone all the time people have been the people have pointed fingers at them and salman khan every weekend has come and told them that you know what guys people are loving you outside you're doing a good job that is when mm-hmm. i you know that's when i look at the faces of all the other other contestants and it's like so much i feel so happy because when you people are pointing fingers at you and then salman khan comes and tells you that you know guys you know you know what people are loving you outside and then the look on the face of the other contestants that is priceless man so you know what go and eat that shit i'm going to tell them mm. because this is what you deserve if you're telling me that i'm wrong and people are loving me then fuck off man i don't give a fuck about you all you guys i'm not here for you guys yaar yeah. i'm here to gather all the love that i can from the entire universe and if i'm getting that then i think i'm more than happy for that absolutely very well said and i think also the fact that you've gained quite a following as well i mean from the shows that you've been a part of i mean they are very popular like i said so i think do you think that will 
pretty much help you as well. I mean, do you think that kind of motivates you as well sometimes when you have that following, when you know that there are people looking at you? Do you feel that there's that sense of responsibility as well on your end? To make See, sure there's, a, there's, there's a loyalty kind of a factor, with, you know, with the, with the people who love me and you know, because of so, you know, after so many years, even if they still want to see me on the TV, back on the TV, back on Big Boss for so many years, they've been asking for it. And now since I'm going there, I have a responsibility. But one thing I want to tell to the audience that I'm not going to please anyone. I'm not going there thinking about whether the audience is going to like this or not like this, whether this person is going to like this or not like this. I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be real. If anyone wants to love me, they can love me. If does, if someone does not love me, then it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. That's how I am. Yeah. That's why people love me till now. And if they don't love me anymore for that, it's okay. I don't mind. That's wonderful. I think on a final note as well, Pratik, I mean, you know, what do you hope to achieve um, from doing Big Boss? I mean, I'm sure, I mean, you know, maybe personally, emotionally um, and career-wise as well. So what do you hope to see a change in you as a person after Big Boss? So, uh, see, it's a game show. It's a game show, which uh, is a, it's like a confined space that you're going to be inside. There are going to be so many emotions, you know, ruling over you. There will be times when you will, you, you may feel helpless. You may feel uh, powerful at times. So how do you contain all those emotions? What do you, you know, how do you behave? How real are you in that time? And how well uh, you tackle all those situations? And, you know, what do you come out as? How do, the moment you step out of the house, how do people, you know, respond to you? Whether they love you or whether they don't like you. And, you know, how, how well does my mom respond to me when I come out? How well is she, how much is she proud of me when I come out? That's what matters to me, you know. That's in one line that is summed up. How, how much is my mo mother proud of me the moment I step out of the house? That is what matters to me. Right. Because that's right. the only thing that matters to me, you know. That is the only thing that matters full stop, very honestly, Pratik. So, yeah. honestly, I feel you there. I do resonate with that. But I think, you know what, it's been a long time since we wanted or uh, to see you in the house. I think a lot of the times, you know, like I said, rumor articles have has said, when is Pratik Sehajpal going in the house? And now yeah. it's finally happening. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing uh, how you perform in the house, how you emerge you so in the much. house. So I hope that, you know, it goes well for you and wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much, Anuj. And one thing before you leave, uh, every Monday to Saturday, 7 p.m. only on Woot Big Boss OTT. And on 8th August at 8 p.m. it's going to premiere on Woot app, only on the Woot app. And 8 o'clock yeah. every Sunday, Monday to Saturday, uh, 7 o'clock. And please watch the live streaming every day, 24 7, whenever you want, whenever you can. And it's, it was great talking to you. And thank you. you're a very positive person here. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I think that's very kind of you. But take care, buddy. And wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Anand. Bye. God bless you.